Hey guys, AutoGamers here with another video and today we are playing Ori and the Blind Forest again and before you saw anything, we are in a different spot as last time uh, the recording messed up and did not record the microphone properly so I had to um, skip a piece and I will be including that part as a time-lapse right here Whoosh! Okay, um, I'm back and we will continue playing Ori and the Blind Forest again. Basically I ran a bunch about life and shit. Um, I got two new power-ups. I got the wall climb and the blue power burst finger majiggy, which I can basically destroy some types of walls with like these by holding the X button for long amounts of time. So it's interesting, not necessarily necessary, but it, it, it's it's something that can be used to destroy walls, especially later on the game, and sometimes as you saw, there can be these like crate-like stuff that basically act like containers for sometimes power-ups uh, even. So let's continue on down after I did a quick save here. Because I know there's a gate down here as well. Which should open up the passageway to here, as I remembered correctly. So we, if you now look at the map, we now have this whole area filled in, because we've been here completely. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to go uh, down right there to the water if I should. Nah, I'm going to go right up to where we need to go. I'm going to go there, yes, that's pretty much a better idea. I can collect all the power-ups right before the end. And sorry if I still sound a bit derpy now and then. Um, I still have a cold and yeah, I had quite a bit of a headache a few days ago and didn't really completely go away. So I am still dealing with the aftermatch of that, so keep in mind that might affect the video quality a bit now and then. I am sorry for that. So yeah, probably a lot of you um, may be wondering. Um, I have been gone for about 8 months, not doing any videos, not doing uh, anything at all with YouTube. Outside of my headset obviously being broken, as I already explained, um, I am having some struggles with life. It is not easy right now. I'm struggling with chronic migraines, and let's say um, I'm limited in what I can do a lot of the time, and I find it very hard to deal with, and if there's any updates on it, I will say so in the videos. I do not have a microphone right now, obviously, because I wouldn't be recording it this video if I had. Um, yeah, it's not fun to have migraines and have them so often as well. I kinda hope it slows down a bit at some point. But we'll just have to see you know, what life gives me 
for it because right now I have days where I just cannot do anything because the migraines limit me in everything I do quite badly quite often which is sad but I have to live with it I don't really want to sometimes but it's not like I really have a choice in how my body functions in that sense that looks like it's going to be a boss battle, but I don't know for sure. I do know I died here a lot when I played this game the first time, so I'm going to see if I like can die so much. That was loud. First time I played this, I thought you couldn't get up on this thing because I thought it was a living thing, but it doesn't seem to mind if it lives that is so I have to destroy that which I'll need some blue points for which I can get here no 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 oh goodness and that is why I do not like this area too much because I will die a lot and we will get the cutscene again <coughs> which is not funny but Oh well, if it gets too repetitive, I will of course cut the video in two pieces or remove a piece within the video itself. Most likely. No, I'm doing it again. That's that's shitty. Great. Great. I almost <laughs> I said great instead of great. That's great. Um yeah, let's see if I can now finally do this without failing the pretty easy jumps. Because it's getting kinda embarrassing right now. Also, the first video was about 20 minutes long. Is the length of that video about right for the kind of videos I'm making right now with the gameplays? And are my gameplays engaging enough that I should create some longer videos in general? Um, other than the time lapses, uh, I'm going to open a poll soon because I want to set up a regular upload schedule and I'm thinking about three to four updates a week with that for now. So, um, if there's any opinions, I'd love to hear what you think and I'm going to n not die here, hopefully. And I found a new life cell. That's great. So yeah, th three to four videos a week. What is your opinion on that? Just in general, your as everyone who's watching me right now. I know that's not a lot of people, but I hope I get a chance to engage with more people in YouTube soon. I don't. It's it's pretty hard to actually grow a channel because I don't really have too much social media or anything that I can really advertise on and I don't know if the games I'm playing are still like popular uh, to watch for most people. So that's a few grey areas that I'd like to discuss. Something I will be playing though, as soon as I can get my hands on it without the extremely high price, is I want to go play Planet Coaster, which is a really fun game from what I've heard and seen. I've always been a fan of the Roller Coaster Tycoon series, and I have had the games and I've played them with my dad since I was like three or four. So. I think Planet Coaster might give a new uh, life to that era in my life um, by reviving the genre in a bit more of a modern fashion and I think I could very well do that for YouTube as well. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World turns out to be a massive Flop. I have not bought it, I'm not planning to ever really buy it. It is becoming very, very clear that the game is just fundamentally broken in so many ways. Uh, I'm not going to buy the game, I'm not going to play the game at all. And oh man, oh I'm doing great! Jesus! Let's try not to fall in the water here because I'm going to die if I do. 
I know I can ground pound this as soon as I get ground pounding. Oh no, 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 oh my goodness that was really close. Now don't fall in because I will die if I do. Let, let's quickly save here to avoid me having to do that all over again. Because that would be pretty annoying at this moment in the game. Um, brick. Great, that's some extra points of experience. Oh no, those things can be really annoying. Okay, that's basically a thing that activates when one of the ground pound points is activated, so I'm not going to be able to do that yet. And then... I'm going to see if I can collect that before I get... Oh, that wrong key. That's always annoying. Because at this point, I really don't have much health, and I will have to stay alive. Okay, that's better. I got some health now. Okay, let's see first what's up here. I think this is the... Gr yeah, that's the ground pound point. I cannot do that yet. Let's see what is down this pathway. Oh, that thing took a lot more hits than I expected. There is a map stone here. Okay, I'm going to... Oh yeah, I need the blast for that. So let's quickly do that. And save here as well. And there is a... I think that's like the bulb that creates a whole point of experience. Um, I'm not going to get that yet, so I will be getting that as soon as I reach the appropriate area for that as well. And I see a map piece, so I'm going to see if I can collect that at this point in the game. I don't think I can get... Oh, I can! That is actually pretty good. Oh, I can destroy these as well! That's great. Okay, get over... I was afraid I was not going to make that, and I'm going to get that blue point here. Because I need to make a save. And I'll be able to return to it as well after I got this map point. Yay, I found a map stone! Great. And there is a blue point there. Let's see on the map where that is. Okay, probably accessible from the other area. I'm going to have to do this little loop here again. Oh my goodness! That is dangerous if people are low on health. Like games, you cannot do that, a blind jump into a possible enemy. That's not a good idea. Like, really not a good idea. Oh, I was going to go to the map stone as well. Let's do that first. I'm pretty sure I can survive this, even if I get hit a few times. So I'm not really too worried about this. So, let's see what the map stone gives us to work with. Oh, we are getting a completely different area. That's interesting. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to click... Come on. No. Okay, that's better. Um... So that's basically the ending area, I think, because I see a volcano there. Okay, that's interesting. Why does it give us the map piece for that already? Didn't we supposed to pick that up, or should we just gone to the right there? Oh, that might have been a bad idea, but oh well. Um, let's go on with how we are right now in this game. I'm safe. Okay, so we're going to the Thornfelt Swamp, as it was past the Thornfelt Swamp, as I remember correctly. So that will be uh, pretty much progress in the game. Sorry about the crack in the microphone if you guys heard that. I just gone with my hand past the microphone, didn't intend to. It's pretty annoying sometimes when recording with a headset, which is basically possibly a reason why I am looking at a standalone microphone as well. Um, if you make any wrong moves with your hands, you will hear it on the recording, and it will be really loud if you in with certain times, which is not something that's too des- oh, I can save here. Uh, that's too desirable for Let's Play gaming, or streaming even. I don't think I'll ever get into streaming, but, well, the future lies ahead of me, and I cannot tell if the future will uh, will allow me to go streaming as well. I honestly at this point don't really whoa my goodness really want to. Um, maybe in the future if people really want it as well I can take a spin at it. But 
at this point I will not be streaming, just saying for a bit of future proofing for people who really do like streams that I might be watching my video. Uh, or videos most likely. Well Ori brought the light and hope to the forest. Others gave in, embraced darkness and fear. Get back here, achievement gotten. Okay. A Guman from the Forlorn Ruins. He must have followed the steps, we must get what he stole. Okay, because otherwise we cannot get into this tree. Without the water vein, the Jinsa tree is closed shut. I really like how this game in a natural way kind of makes things work really well with the mechanics like doors and switch without making it too man-made or unnatural in feeling. And there is the Gumo. Oh, I can get up there. Oh, I almost, can I make that? No, oh, I'll, I'll be getting up there later. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh good, some extra points and stuff. Um, oh no, I don't want to deal with that. Those are really annoying. Let's see if I can... Oh goodness, I will have to, do I? Great. Because they shoot these things. They can get pretty damn annoying. Great. Okay, that's good. Because I do get some points for killing them. So that's one thing. Um, ability point. Let's see if I can do anything with that. Because I want to get to water breathing as quickly as I can. Because that's reasonably important you know, for, a com for a part that's coming up in the game. Otherwise it's going to be extremely challenging to... Oh no, I'm stuck between two fires. Oh great! That gone straight through. I can go down there now. Sorry for that hiccup. And collect the... No, 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 no. I need to ginger tree. Before that, I cannot uh, swim in the water without getting hurt. So, w we are going to go down further, I guess. I know, this chase has been this long. I know, I have played this game quite a few times. Uh, well, the original part, at least. We're going to go and have that down here to open up the next one. I'm going to see what is down here. Nope, I'm not going to get hurt by that this time. Um, Thornfeld Swamp and Moon Grotto. Let's see what is up here. Okay, I can save here at least. That's good. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a boss battle at that point. Oh no! No, I died! I'm happy I saved there. That is actually pretty convenient. <laughs> For once I make a right choice in this game. Goodness. And I see a thing there, which I will be able to get later in a different area. So let's not waste time on that right now. And let's get back into the moon grotto now. Let's get up and pass this area. I don't actually know why we have to break all these things, because I'm pretty sure we can just walk past here. Oh no, the end point is broken. That's why. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, good. We are past that. So, this video has been going quite a bit now. Um, shall I be stopping the video soon? Yeah, this area is really irritating. I'll get past this little piece and then I'll be cutting up the episode. <gasps> oh, I nearly died there. And duck. Okay, good, 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 good timing. Okay, great. I'm going to <laughs> quickly save there because that was actually a really challenging area which I failed in a lot of times last time I played this game. So that is it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and this series so far. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye bye!